What's poppin' people? It's your boy Mikey JTV and the mother of a place to be. And today we have a update video of sorts. Uh Zhang Li is getting a buff. That's great. That's absolutely great. But it's also not great. I'm gonna tell you why here in a second. So with Zhang Li having a buff, it's it's cool, man. It's cool. I absolutely love it. Scaling off HP perfectly fine. But this is putting Mihoyo in a very, very tight situation because, I mean, at any moment's notice, the community can be like, meh, 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 and they'll get what they want simply because they just did it. I personally don't think that's something that should be applauded. Noted, granted, Zhang Li, I, I was on the side of Zhang Li works as intended, right? But then I started watching a couple more videos and the proof just kept piling up that, well, he was kind of, you know, advertised as this DPS, as this, as this guy who was not supposed to be support and he was just supposed to come in and wreck, wreck everything to hell. Now, I'm still on the fence that he does work as intended because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to flawlessly um, <laughs> do level 90 content. So... I don't know that's just where i stand on it but the further implications to what this goes into is how mihoyo will react to this kind of beratement in the future what if albedo doesn't perform as expected what if ganyu doesn't perform as expected what if zhao doesn't perform as expected it's a it's a very a very bad rabbit hole to get into now, the only thing that offset this in the future is maybe forced balance patches, I should say, or, or, or uh, not forced balance patches, but regularly scheduled balance patches to even out your teams. But honestly, this only works in a PvP setting. As we all know, Genshin Impact is all PvE. So I don't know how that would work. I mean, we could give Amber a little bit of love. We can give the Traveler a little bit of love here and there, but um this game doesn't really require units to have balance patches you know i mean there could just definitely be something just so over the top broken and busted that they would have to like do an emergency patch on but like i say this type of game unless they add pvp doesn't constitute regular regular unit balance patches but this would that would be some way to um subvert the backlash of uh this little zhongli debacle but uh i just wanted to get that out of the way let's go ahead and go over what's actually changed all right so we've got um we've got the little message here uh dear travelers we received a lot of questions feedback regarding Zhang Li. we understand love that everybody's giving Zhang Li and the rapt attention blah 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 let's get on to the buffs all right so um regarding john lee the first adjustment to his passive talent dominance of earth um this is his uh this is his, his auto attack original effect increases planet befalls damage by an amount equal to 33 percent of john lee's max hp post adjustment effect the damage dealt by the following of john lee's attacks will be increased based on his max hp uh normal charge and plunging attack will be increased by 1.39 of his max hp so wait a minute so are they adding that so are they getting rid of the dps of planet b falls what's happening here i guess i got I, i'm gonna keep reading i'm gonna keep reading this isn't an equal change so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep reading let me see the stone steel um resonance holding mode damage of dominus lapis lapidus will be increased by 1.9 of max hp so they're adding hp restrictions not hp restrictions but hp scaling onto um on onto what's already there so i i think that's fine i think that's really really good because everybody should be building zhongli uh hp anyway now when you do build characters with hp you still want to have attack i found that out with uh with with epic 7 i don't, I don't know why i always go back to epic 7 because there's just so many similarities between the two games but y'all already know that what i find with dealing with scaling off of hp you have to have just a little bit, bit of attack so i think his his um his weapon is fine where it's at having an attack stat 
plan to be false damage will be increased by 33 percent of Zhongli. okay so why didn't they just put this part right here up here that didn't make any sense but we we keep moving so it's still gonna get to 33 percent of hp um it's just a weird thing to say that they this is the original effect but then this is the this is what happens after it without putting it well this isn't going to change that's weird anyway regarding geo elemental mechanics this is what i'm actually uh no 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 the resonance where's the resonance ah oh, there it is okay yeah yeah they have such weird wording bro <laughs> regarding the geo elemental mechanics adjustment to geo resonance enduring rock um the original effect uses resistance interruption when protected by shield increases attack damage by 15 percent the post adjustment effect increases shield strength by 15 percent which is actually needed um additionally characters protected by shield would have the following special characteristics damage dealt increased by 15 percent that is that covers everything so that's elemental damage and attack damage physical damage all that kind of stuff it it covers the entire thing so it's not just attack damage that's 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 really good um dealing damage to enemies will decrease their geo res, uh, resistance by 20 20 percent for 15 seconds that's also good because so now it's it's getting a, an attack buff and a, an attack break type type thing so pr pretty 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 decent pretty decent geo shield balance geo shields adjusted from having 250 percent geo damage absorption to having 150 percent physical damage and elemental damage absorption now that's really good that's actually still good because you were still getting you were still getting um regular hits by everything else so i mean you you and the the main the thing is like if you put up a geo character against another you know the little rock things they don't do anything it's still immune so that kind of doesn't make sense to put geo up against geo now you have a better reason to bring your geo characters everywhere you go even even when you're fighting the little geo hilly churls and all that kind of stuff so now you have a little bit more uh, of a safety net like geo, geo characters are supposed to be the defensive characters it's supposed to offer you know your safe haven to you know be able to take hits um and essentially that's what zhang li is supposed to be but you know we always get what we want <laughs> anyway this round of adjustments is not merely intended to improve the experience of playing Zhang Li alone we also hope to better convey the shield and geo play styles that are closely associated with him not only for his sake but also improve the experience of the travelers who've been delving into the blah 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 blah, blah. okay 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 so I find that this is going to be a game changer honestly it's going to be a game changer for um the impending shield meta as well as you know pulling for zhang li because i i for one moment don't regret pulling zhang li i always thought he was a great character um i'm just now getting him to um are trying to get him to level 90 he's he's next in line um but you know i've always thought of zhang li being one of the um more practical characters to use i didn't i never thought of zhongli as being like a main dps or anything like that i always i saw his kit and i was like dang i could really use this and i could um like i said before like he allows me to do level 90 and like spiral abyss no problem so i'm not i was never um i was never mad or or never upset with how they portrayed him i just thought honestly i just thought the um I thought the trailer looked amazing. It was probably one of the best trailers they've ever done, hands down. And hopefully it only gets better. I would also like to add that there are no dates on when this is going to go live. They said that they will be monitoring this during the 1.3 beta test. So I don't know. Um, if everything goes well, I would speculate that he'd be coming out in 1.3, but don't don't at me on that. Mihoyo. Y'all got to cross y'all T's and dot y'all I's. Y'all have to make everything explicitly clear because this is a trend that you do not want to roll down the rabbit hole with.
just letting you know because <laughs> it can get pretty disgusting dealing with these communities but um i mean if they felt if if the community feels as if they were wrong they're definitely gonna let you know and and you guys know more than anybody else because y'all had to backtrack and you know give this man some buffs but hey i'm happy either way it goes Zhang Li is still one of my most favorite characters to use on any team he can fit on any team he can he can but um i'm happy you're listening to um your player base i'm loving it keep doing what you're doing mihoyo uh like i say man is it's this is a brutal brutal rabbit hole to to walk down but if you guys enjoyed this video today go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe you know do whatever usual stuff but i'm gonna get up on out of here it's me boy mikey jtv and the mother of plays beans always guys peace